Hey guys, Classic Omer here. Welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Quest 3. So, last time, everyone in the world just basically pissed me off and told me to screw off. They didn't want to aim my company. This time, I'm just going to go exploring again. Let's sail... Let's head over this way, to the east. Yeah. And just start exploring the coastline. I need to blow off some steam after being told that no one wants or needs my help. And all these angrates, I'm going around trying to save the world. Fulfill my father's wish. And what do they tell me? That telling me, get out of here, you're not wanted. You ain't shit, you hick. Uh, hey, tower. Towers are always fun. Let's go climb a tower. As an exercise to blow off steam. Anger management. Urgh! Pissed off hero. Now this is the ARP tower, and there's actually an important item I want to get here. And they're death knights. Death knights are probably a big problem for me right now. All the knight enemies tend to be, especially when you first come across them. Let's see, I believe these guys can use uh, the defense spell, and they're pretty resistant to most attacks. So let's go ahead and get that steel whip on. I need something a little bit more powerful than what I'm using. I don't think defense works on them. At least I don't think it does. We'll try it. We'll find out together. And on the off chance that they're really powerful, let's try and banish them. And let's toss the snow blast in there. Wow. Yeah, 21 damage to my main character tank guy. Probably not good. Oh hey, I got one of them. Hopefully Snowblast hits. Yes. Awesome. Sweet. Hey, I'll take that. <laughs> Two of them down is pretty good for how much I thought they were going to hurt me. Let's get some healing. Let's get some... I don't even know what to bother doing with her. Whatever, just attack. And try to blaze more. I think they're resistant to fire. Yeah, fire didn't work. But the ice did, and I really need to heal before I die. But at least I level up. Yeah, big stamina and HP gains. And I learned to turn so I can get back to towns without the use of my sages. Anyone else, like, gonna fall over? Not really. Let's move on. This place is actually kinda... deadly-ish? It's a fun place to go through and probably get murdered. I don't think it matters too much which direction you go. I could actually look at the map to confirm... Actually, no, I lied. It did matter. I wanted to go specifically this direction. So I get to these stairs, and here on the fifth floor we can actually find treasure. Make sure to not fall off the ropes, though. That would be bad. Ooh, a benevolent ring. I'll look into that later. Here, what that is what I would normally think of. It's a different translation for me, I'm not used to it. But here we can get small metal, number 36 for this run. And that treasure chest down there, you don't want to open, it's a candy box. So let's just fall off right here in the middle, and this is where the really important stuff is. Starting off with the Echo Flute. Just like in the last game, it plays an Echo when you get near an important item, or when you use it near an important item. This game, instead of seals, we're collecting orbs. You could have used the Echo Flute at the Pirate House and found there is an orb there. That's kind of what you're supposed to do, but I sort of sequence breaked a little bit, I guess. And here we get the 37th small medal. And now we're done in here, so let's just leave. Oh god, I'm kind of glad we got that out of the way. And I... Did I only have one fight the entire time I was there? I could have found more powerful enemies, like... Uh, Barnabas, or Big Horns, or Eliminados, things like that, Venom Horks. So, where should I go next? Hmm. You know, there's the island just to the, uh, whatever that direction that is, west of Elihan. I want to go there. I also want to heal up, so I'll do that real fast. Okay, nothing like resting up at home. I also turned in the 
tiny metals I had to get the smart glasses, which will, of course, make your character a smart personality type. Yeah, and that fight, Kimitri and Alexis both got the 13 Learn Stop spell. Yeah, I'm thinking about eventually making Homer a smart type character. Maybe once he's got about 300 HP or so. You know, make him sufficiently tanky. And this is the town of Lancel. Or village of Lancel. Whatever. Not a lot of distinction between those two words. Just, you know, population size. And it's JRPG. The populations are always really small. So, we can get things here that are pretty cool. Like, we could get a Cloak of Evasion for zero. Actually, a Cloak of Evasion would be pretty good for most of my party. More importantly, we have other things like Magic Armor, which would be sweet for everybody. Absolutely everybody. So that's a thing to think about. Hmm. Is there anything else I really... There's Yeah, there's not really anything else I want here. Maybe... Actually, I don't even need to get an Iron Mask. It's not even as good as the Ortega helmet I'm wearing. Hmm. Unfortunately, I'm kind of poor. Well, I'll get this. I'll just put it in the bag for now. I'll equip it later. Like, when I leave town. Off screen, so you don't have to worry about it. There's also an item shop here that actually has a new item. It has the invisible herb. And I want at least one. So we'll just put that in the bag as well. Because with that, we can sneak past that asshole guard at the Eden Bear Castle. And... Yeah. Yeah. I was just telling the viewers about that lady. We can sneak past him, get into the castle, and see if everyone there is as much of a jackass as he is. Really? Hmm. Ah, uh, you know, now that you mention it, I don't think that we've seen the church in here. Or a shrine, or whatever. But I did find a Pachisi ticket. And what else do we have? Do we have anything good? Ooh, boy, five gold. And nothing. Well, let's go search that shrine then, since we're here. I mean, it looks like the edge of the map over here, but really, it's a secret. Nah, I guess you can't really call it a passage. However, this is a secret item. Search all the way up here, you can find another small metal. Should be, what, 38? And unfortunately, all of these doors are locked with a uh, jail door, so we can't get in there. Ooh, that... Really? Uh, I think it's a little low to be the belly button, but uh, whatever you say. I do have invisibility herb. Good point, you see? Slime's thinking. So then, let's uh, let's go put that to use. I don't have to do any large amounts of cutting. I can just return to... Uh, oh, I can return right to Eden Bear. Nice. Guess it was worth stuffing in. Even though the guy's just a huge dick. Well, yeah, I really want to talk to the nothing. So, let's go ahead and find... wherever I put the... <laughs> it's in here somewhere. I swear, I do have an invisibility herb. I'm just really bad at seeing it. There it is. Sprinkle the invisibility herb all over yourself. Run right past that guy. You don't even have to think about it and talk to him again. Oh, yeah, and you can't really talk to people when you're invisible. They think nothing's there. Oh, what the? Really? Wow! Some people are just complete assholes. Wait, what do you say? Huh. Okay. I wonder why I would say that. I mean, there's nothing so far in the game that would lead me to believe such a thing. So, apparently there's a pitcher who drains the ocean and is from somewhere around... or should be somewhere around here. Hmm. At least she didn't just straight up call me a hick. Well, good for her. She can stay by the pond. I don't want to deal with her anymore. Ooh, magic key door. Better be good things in here. Find a slick suit. Or a dandy suit, I think is what's called in the Game Boy Color version. 
and a party dress. They're kind of the equivalent equipments for the different genders. I don't think that they're actually useful. Find a lady manual, make your female characters ladylike. I'm always tired, game. In real life and in the game. Let's check these stairs I went right past. Ooh, puzzle. And no obvious reason for why to do it, but I have to complete all puzzles. Let's see if I can do it without screwing it up, though. Hmm. Perhaps. Hmm. I think I may have just screwed it up a little bit. Yeah, I kind of did. That's okay. There. I want to get all of these boulders onto these blue tiles. And once you got one on there, the other two are a lot easier. So you don't have so much stuff in the way. And you can push them into the water. At least, I'm pretty sure you can. I'm not going to try to find out. I'm just going to solve the puzzle. And probably the slowest fashion possible. But doing that opens up the passage in the northern end of the chamber. So let's go check it out. Obviously good things await. And they were talking about some vase. We find the thirsty pitcher! Or the dry vase if you prefer. Yeah, I'm kind of skipping some dialogue to find out where this is. But I don't really care. I don't want to have to remember how to do things all the right way the first time. Or like it was the first time. Alright, because, you know, Hicks have no manners. We obviously can't talk to the king. Wow. I'm surprised that they call them Indians. How nice. He says he won't make a fool of me, but in doing, in simply saying that, implies that he thinks you're a fool. I don't really need to save. Yeah, let's keep going. Yeah, I did. <laughs> okay, cool. Fine. We got the thirsty pitcher, and he's not a huge dick, and is letting us keep it. Country food. Jesus Christ. We come from a city with a castle! What the hell's wrong with these people? I hate all of you. Oh, they are so lucky I can't just start killing random villagers. Let's see. There should be something somewhere around here. May actually have to look. Consult my list, though. Oh, hey. Yeah, that thing I just did. Well, at least someone tells you about it. Really, game? Fine, at least you didn't say, it's obvious that you're Hicks. Alright. There should be... Hmm... It says just in the bottom left corner. Oh, maybe... It, yeah, there we go. I didn't go far enough down. Haha, -ha, another small metal. That's... A number. I think 39. I'm really bad at actually keeping track of them. In any case, we still have one more we can find around the castle. So let's do that. Hey, look, a door. I wonder what could be down there. Maybe another person would make fun of me? Probably. Hey kid, what's up? Oh, well. That's actually pertinent information. Final key is what we need to open up all those jail cell doors, and this should be in Tiny Metal 40. I'm just going to say should, because I'm not entirely certain. So let's, uh... Actually, we don't really... Ah, oh, screw it. I don't feel like walking back out of the castle. It's a long walk. Shut up. 
this is easier. So they mentioned seeing Indian people in a town called Sioux to the west. And that's odd. Oddly specific. I mean, small island nation of uptight people who went west and met the Sioux Indian people? I mean, man, if I didn't know better, I'd say this is almost an analog to the real world. <laughs> Wait, who am I kidding? I don't know better. This is an analog to the real world. No, I'm not kidding. I just landed on North America. I came from England. Romali? Roma? Rome? Italy? The giant desert on the African-looking continent with the pyramid on it? Lancel's Australia. The pirate house was on South America. And this, this, my friends, will be New York. Not even joking. So, yeah, there's the big reveal. It's actually kind of cool. Hmm. Unfortunately, to get New York started, I do need to bring a dealer. Well, I'll do that some other time. Probably off-screen, I'll just show you guys getting here with a dealer. Let's go find Sue. As you may be able to tell, we can't go right through all these mountains, but on the map we did see there's a long connection string of rivers to sail through. So let's head through here. And find King Squids in the Mississippi River? What the hell, game? That's not... no, just... that's not how it works. That is really not cool. If we had giant squids in the Mississippi River, I think... Lois and Clark would have shit themselves more than they already did. So, these guys kind of a problem. I don't think they have any special attacks, they just hit really hard, and apparently are resistant to ice. I guess it's not that surprising, kind of water enemies. Still, so, yeah, Fire Beam works. I'm not sure if that would have been better than her physical attacks, though. In any case, there's the King Squid enemies. Now, I need to remember which of these rivers to take. Ah, looks like I at least chose somewhat the right one. Because obviously I can't get through the bridge. And cool. Town. Battle. With derangers and bighorns. Oh, great. Um, pretty sure bighorns are the less dangerous of the two. And that uh, derangers can probably cast panic all. Or chaos, confuse, whatever. I will check to make certain. Assuming I can ever find them in my beast here. Here we go, big horns. They can put you to sleep with the sweet breath. And the rangers can panic all and heal more. And occasionally they'll just sit around and not do anything. So let's go ahead and start attacking everything. Just even out the damage as much as I can. You see they'll assess, and occasionally, even after assessing, they'll take a turn to do something. In any case, Blade Ring's pretty good. Especially since um, my main character's kind of strength-based. Kind of, sort of. At least more so than everyone else. And with the solitary uh, ring, punk ring, rock star, whatever, he's going to be getting more strength. At least average strength. I can't remember if Lude was better on the strength or not. Uh, yes and no? Hmm. Well, hasn't quite worked out for him. Yeah, he didn't really see in that dream. Let's see. We're going to raid this place of all their fun stuff. And... Yeah, this is where the Thirsty Vase came from. Maybe we can find out more information about it from these people. Assuming they weren't all asleep. 
Uh, okay. It's a Mr. Ed reference. Really, game. So, there you go. Thirsty base dries up shoals, we just need to find some. Where everyone tells you where they are. Uh, yeah. He's kind of right over there. Just... Wow, never mind. What's down the well? Is there anything down this one? Ooh. Hello there. Okay. Wait, if you stole the picture, why are you here? I'm... Oh, well, that perfectly explains my question. Thank you. Well, sucks to be you. I guess I won't tell them you're here. You know, they should probably want to kill the dirty white man. Uh, white devil. Speaking of this as a white person myself. Ooh, small metal should be 41. Not too bad. Only nine more and I get a ninja suit that I don't think I can use. Yeah, green lad. Green land. Yeah. But there's a cool magician up there. Do you say anything other than that you're snoring? I don't know what that's a reference to. I'm sure it's a reference to something. But I don't get it. Okay. Well, this place is nice at night and all, but uh, pretty sure it'd be more interesting in the daytime. So let's go ahead and take a nap. Oh, good. Now all the people are up and walking and talking. And apparently they're truthful people, which is nice. <sighs> nice to meet people in this game who don't hate me and call me Hicks for no reason. And for good measure, I can go ahead and play that uh, echo flute just to see if there's anything here. See, no echo. It does sound pretty cool, though. Oh. Yeah, I guess I could have figured that out from you guys before going there, but I already went there. Yeah, 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 always speak the truth. Aren't, is that how you actually spell Sue for the, uh, the Native American spelling? I'm not entirely sure that's... The analog is perfectly correct. Yeah, yeah, people suck and come and take your stuff. It's sort of just how the white people work. I I can't explain it. All I can do is say sorry. Anyway, I think if you search around the well somewhere, you should be able to find a bolt staff. I don't remember where you're supposed to hear about that, but someone does tell you somewhere in the game. And, move away. Get away. If you search right here, you can get small metal number 42. Just going to say 42. I'll recheck the numbering later. Make sure I'm not missing any. So, let's go and find something to use these echoing fluid on. Next time on Let's Play Dragon Quest 3. Class Corner signing out. I'll see you guys later.